Hey, I'm Brandon, and today we are checking out the Cardo Pack Talk Edge headset. This is the latest and greatest from Cardo. I've been a big fan of the Cardo Pack Talk uh, Bold. I've been using that one quite routinely, and honestly, I'm a big fan of Cardo just in general. You've got the Solo coming in at 390 bucks. You can pick up the Dual Pack for right at $700. Pretty impressive stuff. Some nice innovations here, which we'll get into more in just a moment. One of the first things you might notice is that there's no antenna on this, but there's no sacrifice in the overall range. You're still looking at uh, a mile of range between rider and rider, or you know, up to five miles if you've got a group of riders riding together. And it is a three button system. You do have an active jog dial too though. This is a column roller, completely waterproof, but to turn the unit on, it's just these two buttons, this one right here on the front and this bottom button right there. Hold that down for a second or two. You'll see that come on. Obviously it's not in the housing, so it's not gonna link up or anything like that, but very easy to turn this on and off. Very similar to the Bold, but this is waterproof. I really like that. The roller's a little bit more low profile than it was on the previous model. And just to give you some comparison, here's the previous. This is the PacTalk Bold. You can see that antenna there. It's a little bit more stout. Um, as you can see towards the, towards the roller here and just with those columns and how it's actually built. So again, it's a little bit more low profile in the overall design there. But the housing also changed. That's another big point. Uh, and I actually like the housing. It's actually a magnetic housing. So let me grab this, I'm gonna push it forward, slides out of place very easily there. But you can see this little tab right there. You're gonna need to press that down in order for this to, to actually be removed from the housing, but it's magnetic so it's pretty nifty, it's pretty nice, honestly. But again, don't try to remove it without pressing down that tab. And honestly, I was very concerned that this was holding this on with magnets, right? If you're riding in inclement weather, or maybe you're using this in the off-road riding application, hit and whoops and things like that. Some riders like to communicate with other riders if they're out there on the trails. We do it all the time with my buddy Pat, who you see in these videos all the time. So. I was uh, a bit concerned about the magnetic quality and making sure that this stays in place, but I'm telling you, it is very, very stout and it will not come out of place unless you push that tab down. So if you were concerned about that as well, or if you have concerns with that, uh, don't because it works great. And actually pop that right back in place, throw it back over here. The other thing I wanted to point out as we keep working our way through all the tech, there's a lot to cover. So, you know, saddle up here for me uh, and we'll work our way through it. You've got USB-C charging, so it's a faster charging. So for 20 minutes of charging time, you've got about two hours of talk time. So that's pretty impressive. I think that was something we've been anticipating for quite some time now. And I'm glad that Cardo has finally stepped into that. So it's very simple, but it is effective, right? Faster charging. All of us just want to get on the road, get going again. So maybe you've been riding all day long, you know, you're listening to music, talking to your buddies, you're wearing out the battery. It's nice being able to, you know, have a pit stop. Maybe you're grabbing a bite to eat, throw this on a charger and for 20 minutes, you've got another two hours maybe uh, to go. And now you've got two hours of coverage to your destination. So I do like the fast charging. I think there's going to be a lot of benefits there to a variety of riders. Of course, 13 hours of talk time that they say. That's always a little hit or miss depending on how you're using it and what other factors are going into play. So, but they claim 13 hours of talk time, 10 days of standby time. Um, and I do really like, this is a new update that I really like is the, um, the battery level. When you turn this unit off, it actually quotes the battery level or the battery life. So that's really nice. You know, if you haven't put it on a charger in a while, you're not really sure every time you turn it off, it's going to let you know. So that is certainly beneficial. And I think more units hopefully will do that moving forward. And you know, Cardo does a great job of setting the gold standard there. And then some of the other manufacturers tend to, to catch up to the standard here. So I like that Cardo is always pushing forward for sure. Now the dynamic mesh communication has actually been improved. This is the second generation here. So it, it auto heals and it's constantly improving the overall connectivity that it has. And you have up to 15 riders and it works a lot better in my opinion than your standard Bluetooth system. So if you've not used the mesh network, I highly recommend it if you've riding with somebody that also have cardo units try that mesh network out i really like it especially for the woods because say you're riding trail you're chatting with your buddy you've got a huge huge log in front of you so you can say hey man log on the trail you can keep going they'll probably slow up to get over that log right and you're zipping past well when you guys get back in range it's going to automatically rejoin you so it's very seamless i really like it for that application but it's great for the street as well but if you're not familiar with the mesh network check it out give it a try i think you'll be happy with uh, the versatility 
understanding how easy it actually is to use. But swinging over to the Bluetooth, we've got Bluetooth 5.2, um, and that is up to four riders, whereas the Dynamic Mesh Network, that is up to 15 riders in that particular network. But it does also have live Bluetooth, which is a slight upgrade, and it works very similar to that mesh network as far as if a rider comes out of range and you're using the standard Bluetooth, it's gonna hang around for a second, kind of keep that door open so that rider can pair back with you uh, when they come back into range, but it's only gonna stay open for you know a certain amount of time. So that is an update, they call it that live Bluetooth. So it's nice that they're going that way, but again, I think the mesh network, if all riders have the mesh network, is gonna be a far superior option for communication. It works very seamlessly, it's great. So if you haven't checked it out, highly recommend it. Natural voice, that's another bit of technology here. I really love that on the Pack Talk Bold. It's something I use continuously. If I'm listening to music, I can say, hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, next song. It'll change the music, it'll do those commands as you need to. And on this one, they've just improved that. So it's a, it's a new voice engine that they're utilizing in here. I personally never really had any problems with the previous option. Um, and if it's only improved, well, it's only gonna be better for riders out there. So I do like that. I love, love, love the voice commands. I don't have to lift my hands off the bars and hit toggles or manipulate anything like that. With the JBL speakers, standard 40 millimeter speakers, you can upgrade to the 45 millimeter speakers. However, one thing to note with that is most of the EPS, you know, the recessed area on the EPS on the inside of helmets, most of them are not gonna accommodate those larger 45 millimeter speakers. And personally, I've not had any issues with the 40 millimeters, and I don't think you're getting any major performance gains by going with the 45 millimeters. So to each their own there, but it is a note I think worth making if you're thinking about upgrading to the 45s. But you've still got you know FM radio you've still got again that standard Bluetooth connection um, you've got a lot of versatility here you can listen to music you can get directions you can chat with your riders there's a lot that these units can do nowadays I like the overall design of the pack talk edge here it's a bit more low profile I like that magnetic housing it's very simple and I like that you can upgrade these wirelessly. You don't have to plug them into the wall. You can actually do it right there through your phone. It's going to connect as long as your phone's connected to Wi-Fi and this is in range so you can connect to it. You're good to go. You don't have to plug it in or anything like that. Don't have to plug it into your computer, I should say, for those upgrades. But very sleek design. I like that they've kept a lot of the DNA that we love so much from the Pack Talk Bold and they've just built upon it, right? There's not leaps and bounds in technology. It's not dramatically changed from the previous options that we know and love but there's certainly some updates and some improvements with these particular units. But of course, if you're looking for more details, check out that product page. It'll give you all the detailed features there, every bit and piece that I might have missed for you. And of course, if there's something you have a question about, do not hesitate to reach out to our customer service team. They are all riders, more than happy to get you pointed in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out for a bit and taking a closer look at the Cardo Pack Talk Edge. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.